Breaking news, Aaron Wan-Bissaka is possibly out for two months or more with a hamstring injury. It's coming out by a report. I don't know who this is and or how reliable it is, but a lot of big accounts are now picking up on it. Yo Insider United um, has put out there that Aaron Wan-Bissaka out for at least a couple of months due to hamstring injury. Um, I'm trying to find out for myself from my sources if this is uh, true or not. But what could this mean for Manchester United? Well, it only means disaster. Absolute disaster. I have absolute faith in Diogo Dalo, but uh, we, are, we actually don't have any more fullbacks left. We don't, except for Sergio Regulon, who's had a really good game, or has a decent game against Brighton yesterday, and Diogo Dalo, who's had a fantastic game against Arsenal. Scoreline doesn't represent their performances on both games. But apart from those two fullbacks, we don't have anyone available. And funny enough, Tenak came out, or something came out the other day, Tenak saying Amrabat can play fullback, he can play this and that. I can't. This, we, we make, we, we're putting players in makeshift positions just to get, get through games. I don't get excited to see Manchester United anymore. And, uh, you know, um, I have some sort of suspicion as to what's going on because how do we go through pre-season and now all the players are dropping like flies? Mason Mount is injured. His injury record is supposed to be clean. Uh, Sofian Amrabat didn't even do anything for a, such a long period of time because he wasn't training with the first team. He wasn't in the squad in Fiorentina. And then he comes to Manchester United and then we find out he's got an injury. Rasmus Hoyland signs for Manchester United. He's got a freaking injury. I do not understand. Luke Shaw signed this contract a few, few weeks later. He's got an injury. Malasia, whole fully injured. What the hell is going on with this fucking club? Players are dropping like flies. And now he just gives us excuse after excuse after excuse. He's not available. Full team's not available. Ten have not got this player, that player. Bro, you're supposed to have a flying start to the season. Secure yourself in a comfortable position in the league and then start tackling the league. We, we keep saying come top four every season. And now Arsenal, Liverpool, Man City are freaking taking over those positions. And the, wi and the distance between us and those teams are getting wider and wider and wider. We'd be lucky to come fucking top six at this rate. I, I mean, I don't know what is going on, man. Who's the medical staff? What's the physios? What's the coaching staff? What are we making these players go through? How are players getting injured so much? Is this some sort of a curse? For me, just end the fucking season at this rate. End the fucking season. We've got Man City to play in the league. We've got Galatasaray, Copenhagen. We've got Bayern Munich in a couple of days to play away. Bro, how are we going to survive all these fucking games when we have so many injuries? So many fucking injuries. Bro, I can't be, uh, you know what, deadly serious, yeah? I can't be bothered anymore, man. Honestly, I'm checking, I'm swiftly, my mindset is checking out of this season. Absolutely checking out of this season. On the pitch, there's fucking issues constantly. This player is not available. Kubi Minor, we're apparently waiting on. An academy prospect kid, we're waiting on to come and transform our midfield. Like, this is how bad this club has come down to. Now people are telling me, Sofia and Amra about wait on him. He's going to bring this, he's going to bring that. Then another people telling me, we need a centre-back, this centre-back, that. Like, it just never works. It's issue after issue after issue, problem after problem, concern after concern. Bro, I'm sick and tired, man. Martial, we're still managing and he's not performing. It's just a fucking load of bollocks. I'll update you if anything new comes on, man. If, but I'm, I just I can't, man. Every time I log on online to check what's going on, it's just bad news after bad news. We just don't have a fucking good day anymore. Peace out, people. Like and subscribe to the channel. Love.